In this video, we're going to cover the maximum vertical height changes between two surfaces. So let's say you have a sidewalk and another sidewalk or a sidewalk going to a patio or another type of walking surface. One quarter of an inch and that isn't much. And this is these drawings are two scale, so you can see that's that's not a lot. Now you can there is a building code that provides you with a half inch maximum, which I believe this is the ultimate maximum, but it needs to be beveled. And the ratio for that bevel is going to be a one to two ratio. In other words, if you go up a half inch vertically, you will need to go back one inch horizontally to have the bevel. Now you can always go back farther you can always take the bevel back, um, uh, let's just say instead of a one and a two, you can always go to a one and three or a one and a four. So you can always go back, if you're going up vertically a half inch, you can always go back more than one inch. You can always go back an inch and a half, two inches. Now there is one thing I would like to suggest. This isn't in the building code, but it is. Uh, a, would be a good idea. If you are going to build any structures like this, wouldn't be a bad idea to dowel into the existing sidewalk, walkways, or anything. You're planning on attaching the new concrete surface to. The reason why I'm saying this is because if you have any type of tree roots in the area, or soil that hasn't been compacted, then over time these surfaces could actually settle down or be lifted up. So don't forget tree roots will actually lift sidewalks up. Well, if you dowel in, use some rebar to dowel in uh, to connect these joints to where they won't move or they'll be a little more difficult to move then you won't be uh, ripping these sidewalks out or grinding them down in the future. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment area.